Yo, what's up? It's Lamar here, holding out my body band of support. We got a really dope stretching video for you today. I got my girl with me, Viv, personal trainer, yoga instructor. She's gonna show you all the ropes on how to get ready, you know, for your workouts, how to cool down. I think today we're covering just the warm up, right? Warm up stretches. Warm up stretches, all right? She's gonna show you how it's done. We got my boy Tomas on cam actually going through a little set. Check it out, let us know what you think. Hey y'all, listen. I'm just forewarning you right now. This stretching video is very beneficial. If you actually do the stretching, you're gonna see and feel the benefits, all right? Some of the movements you may not be comfortable with. You bend in a certain position, certain ways, it might be a you know what I mean? It's something that you wouldn't wanna do in front of all of the fellas, if you get what I'm saying. If you gotta go to a corner and do them, then do that. Excellent video, because at the end of the day, it's just about your mobility. Step off to the side, you know what I mean? You're making sure that you get your full stretches in so that way you can have a better workout. Hey, what's up guys? This is Vivian out here in North Park with Body Bandit. And today we're gonna be doing some pre-workout stretches. So getting your body all nice and loosened up, stretched, opened up so that you have the best, most efficient workout. Getting your muscles prepped, everything nice and loose. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna warm up the spine. So we're gonna take your arms up over your head and interlace your fingers. You're gonna release your index fingers so that you're pointing straight up at the sky. And then you're gonna rock side to side in your spine, left to right a couple of times. Just make sure you feel that length in your spine and then you're going all the way left, all the way right. And that's the spine stretch. All right, so the next exercise is a stretch for your hamstrings, your quads, your glutes. You wanna get everything nice and open in your hips, especially if you're gonna be doing anything like running or working at your legs. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold all the way down forward. Your feet are wider than hip distance apart. You're gonna fold forward, point your forehead towards your shins, and then you're gonna come up halfway, lift your chest, look forward, and then you're gonna fold forward all the way down again. And when you do that, you're gonna open your feet out so that they're 45 degrees open and you're gonna squat all the way down till your hips reach the ground. Then you're gonna fold forward again, lift your hips up to the sky. You'll repeat the same movement. So you're gonna be stretching the hip flexors and the hamstrings, just getting all the fluid moving in those hips so that we don't cause any injuries. So you're just gonna swing your legs Use your arms in a running motion so that you balance out that weight and it'll be easier for you to balance. Make sure that you're engaging your core and pulling your belly button in toward your spine. That'll make the balance a lot easier as you do your leg swings. What you're gonna do is you're gonna separate your feet wide. One foot goes all the way back, one foot all the way forward. And you're gonna bend into your front knee. Your back leg stays straight so that you feel that stretch down your hip flexor. Make sure your torso is back, you're not leaning forward. And then you're gonna straighten both legs and you're gonna bend down halfway. So you wanna feel that in the back of the leg on the front leg. And then you'll come back up, bend back into that front knee and feel it in the hip flexor. And then you'll straighten the legs again, fold forward halfway and feel it in the hamstring. The next one is a glute and hip stretch. So you're gonna hold on to something that you can balance on and you're gonna cross your ankle over your knee you wanna push your knee away from you and sit back into a chair. So keeping your chest up, sit nice and low and then stand right back up. And then you'll sit low again, chest up, hips back, and then stand up again. We'll repeat that three to four times on each side. So next we have shoulder circles. So you're gonna be taking the arms up in a big circular motion all the way up, back and around a few times and then we're just gonna switch the directions and take it to the front. If you liked any part of what you just saw, then go ahead and show that support and hit the like button. It also really helps the channel grow. Subscribing if you haven't already kinda goes without saying, but if you wanna keep up with everything that we're doing with the body bandit movement, go ahead and do that too.